Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing this evening on a lovely Monday evening? I'm gonna give it some time for some more people to roll in here, but I wanted to do something special for you guys, and I wanted to give you guys some hands-on tips that are gonna help you ensure you work out. And what do I got for you today? I got four reasons. I got four secrets. I got four little tips that are gonna guarantee you work out every day, okay? Or at least on a Monday. Now, why am I seeing this on a Monday? Because we just got over a weekend, Chances are, for some of you who did not work out, you're feeling a little guilty now. You're feeling a little grumpy. You're feeling a little mad because you know you want to start off the week right, and for whatever reason, you never had the chance. So, if it's a Monday or a Sunday, and you're looking to guarantee you work out, these are the four things that you have to do. Okay, let's break them down. Number one, you need to tell a friend, you need to tell a spouse, or you need to tell your children. This way you can make yourself feel accountable and ensure that you're actually gonna work out. I wish my kids were around right now. Hey! Hey. Milena, how are you? I'm doing good. I need your help. But why? Now I wanna start working out and I wanna be committed and I wanna go Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at six o'clock. Can you keep me committed? Absolutely. Can you remind me that I gave you a promise? Yeah. And if I'm lying and I don't work out, what happens? Then I lose stuff, there's a penalty. I gotta give her something, right? Awesome, thank you. Okay, so number one, tell a friend, tell a spouse, tell someone, get yourself accountable. Number two, pre-book your workouts for the week. Yes, okay? Remember these old calendars? Grab your calendar, mark off the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mark off the Monday, Wednesday evening, Saturday morning, mark off Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday evening at home if you don't have the time but you gotta mark off the exercise and you gotta set alarms. Wish I had a cell phone here right now. Come on, me like no, My phone isn't working. So what you wanna do is when you're booking your workouts, set alarms to go off, okay? You guys can hear that alarm? Awesome, I can hear that alarm. Imagine how annoying that would sound if you set the alarm to remind you two hours before your workout that you're gonna work out and you put a little note saying, don't quit. Okay, super important. That's number two. Number three, you gotta set the mood. Now what do I mean by setting the mood? Well, when you wanna be romantico, like me, and you're setting the mood at home, and you got your, can you guys all see this? It says my wife thinks she's the chef, okay? So when you're setting the mood for your workout, you gotta make sure you're doing it properly so you have something to look forward to. Exercise is a stressful, challenging, hard activity. Some of you may wake up in the morning and love to work out, and some of you wake up in the morning and dread it. So some of the things that I do is I set the mood. What I mean by setting the mood, I set up my outfit, okay? Perfect, got my tank top, I got my hat, Okay, set the mood. If you organize all the stuff that you're gonna need for your workout the night before, okay, I got my music happening, so I got my music ready to go, I got my water with me, my branching amino acids, I got my MyZone heart rate monitor with me, whatever it is, you need to set the mood so that way when you're going to work out, you're not gonna skip the workout, okay? That was number three. Number four is set a penalty or a reward, okay? It's something tiny. But if you set a penalty up for yourself where if you don't work out, something not bad's gonna happen to you, but you gotta set up some kind of, uh, some kind of a consequence. Either I'm gonna donate $5 to a charity every time I miss a workout, I'm going to donate um, something to my family, to their school, or you know what, I gotta buy my flowers every time I don't work out. Whatever it is, there's gotta be some caution in your life, right? Caution. Oh my gosh, caution. So if you don't have some form of a consequence, it's easy to skip the workout. Now, another thing you can do is set up a reward to work out. Every time I work out, I'm gonna treat myself on the weekend. Man. I wish I got paid for every time I worked out. Say no more. Hey! This for me? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. So guys, remember, if you want to guarantee you're going to work out, set your mind right first, okay? Four things you're going to be doing is one, telling a friend, telling a spouse, telling your children, get accountability. Tell someone on a Sunday, listen, I'm going to work out three times this week and I want you to call me back and I want you to keep me accountable. Number two, I want you to pre-book your workouts. A lot of people say, I exercise. Really? If I were to tell you to log every workout you've done in the last 30 days and you don't have any type of information written anywhere, your workouts are not accurate. You can't go back and log them. And third and most importantly is, if you're not pre-booking them, how are you gonna make time for your workouts, okay? So you gotta pre-book your workouts, set alarms on your phone. Number three, set the mood. Get your clothes ready, get your music ready, get your hat ready if you need to wear a hat, get your running shoes ready, get your gym bag ready, okay? Get your gym bag ready, get your equipment ready. Whatever you need, set up your equipment in an area of the house that's gonna motivate you and remind you when you leave the doors to go to work, if you're working out at home, the minute you get home, you should see your equipment right by the front door. You should see your hat, your gym bag, your water bottle, your MyZone heart rate monitor right on the floor. Why? Because that's gonna remind you that you set a goal to yourself to work out. And number four, you gotta have a consequence or you gotta have some kind of reward. With everything in life, you do poorly during the week, there's a poor consequence at the end of the week. Maybe you gotta do dishes for your spouse for the next three days. Maybe you gotta take the kids out somewhere. Jess said, it's not in your mind, your heart, you're not gonna do it. That's right. So if it's not in your mind, your heart, if you don't log it, if you don't tell someone, you're gonna not do the workout. And then who gets penalized in the end? Who gets affected? Not your kids. They'll get affected indirectly because you may be grumpy that time when you come home. You may come home in a mood that would have been much more pleasant had you worked out in the morning or had you had time to meditate. Maybe your spouse, maybe your employer, maybe you're someone that you're courting, you're dating. Regardless, you need to have a consequence. Make the consequence matter. $50 given away to your kids or to a charity or to your local school. $50 a week, $50 every month. However you want to set it up for every time you don't keep your word is important. Hey, 50 bucks in a jar, which at the end of the year goes back to your family or whomever is going to help you out. And set a reward. A lot of you guys are struggling when it comes to getting or setting the proper reward. Make the reward be something you love to eat. Heck, you're, you're so stressed out about working out and dieting, why not set a reward at the end of the week on a Saturday or on a Friday to have a fun meal, a fun food, or to go somewhere, to buy yourself a book, whatever it may be that's gonna need to motivate you, you gotta set it up. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monday Motivation. I hope you enjoyed these four tips. And if you did, please do us a favor. Send us a shout out, send us a like, share this video with anyone you think it can help. Because at the end of the day, the little things make up for the big, big, big success. Anyways, have yourself a wonderful evening. Have yourself a wonderful Monday. Come over here, sweetheart. I'm gonna give my lovely daughter an amazing workout because she's helped me out setting up for this little video and remember when it comes to health and fitness attitude is everything happiness is a decision now make it